Breaking news at this hour, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner has tested positive for COVID-19. Mayor Turner announcing the test results this afternoon. KPRC2 health reporter Haley Hernandez is live now at the George R. Brown Convention Center downtown with the latest on this. Haley. Guys, as you mentioned, Mayor Turner did not show up for events today. He canceled coming here to the George R. Brown where the city and Texas Children's are giving out free vaccines because Mayor Turner tested positive for COVID-19. In a statement Mayor Turner sent, he said he woke up feeling mild symptoms and, quote, I decided to get tested before starting my daily schedule. Before and after getting my test results, I canceled all events for today and the weekend. City of Houston Health Authority Dr. David Purse says since the mayor was vaccinated and only has mild and not severe symptoms, this should be considered a vaccine success and not a failure. He says he's feeling pretty good. He, you know, he does have some mild symptoms, but other than that, he's uh, feeling pretty good. And I really want to, you know, thank the mayor because he did everything right. As soon as he got symptoms he reached out we were able to get him tested right away we got the, the test results back he isolated himself as soon as he started feeling poorly and has been isolated ever since the city and texas children's hospital will be giving free vaccines for the whole family at grb until 8 p.m tonight they say this is especially timely as infections have nearly tripled in the texas medical center in the last week houston methodist says 45 percent of their patients have the omicron variant and all pediatric cases at texas children's have more than doubled in the past three days. Mary Lee's son is one of their cancer patients and he was vaccinated this afternoon. I feel safer because I've already lost a child to leukemia and I wasn't prepared to lose a child to COVID. And we did ask Mayor Turner's office if he received a booster shot, and they tell us that he did two months ago. Reporting from the George R. Brown, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.